So my name is Wolfgang Butter, born and raised in Austria, up Austria, 46 years old. I'm old. Um, doing martial arts since I'm starting when I was 14 years old. Started boxing and then later on I found the kickboxing and since then I started stuck in kickboxing. Mid uh, 20 ish. I started my first uh, professional fight. The reason why I did the professional fights, I want to see how far I can go. And second, I get paid for doing what I love. That was the best. Doing my own fighting and teaching in the same time. Guys, go, go, go! In the face, go! 10 seconds! Go, go, go! Speed this up! Five! Now relax! Moved to Canada 2008. When I moved over here, I was not speaking the language. That was my first thing where I was like, I need to work on. So I learned the language, uh, opened my own business, but in a different way. I opened a, a retail store for martial arts equipment. And uh, one day I had one of the fitness gyms owner here and he contacted me and said like, oh, people talk about you and you're a coach. Are you interested to do it? And I was afraid to do it. It's not why I do not know what I did, but the mentality between us Europeans and the North Americans is totally different. So it's a little bit hard to understand when, when you're not coming from this culture. Later on, I saw, okay, there's no opportunity to do something by myself. And um, I found the place, I fixed it up. And since then I'm here, it's, I think it's 2014. Yeah. How do you feel about it, guys, after great all class. this? It's another <laughs> great class. Okay. How do you feel about it, man? <laughs> so what we're doing, what we're teaching first. So we're teaching all ages, all experience. Um, we have beginner classes, of course. We're doing... Uh, the kickboxing, we're doing uh, Muay Thai, we're doing boxing, we're doing Chilean uh, Jiu Jitsu and the grappling. So that's the MMA. When you call MMA, that's what is MMA. All together. We compete in Ontario, uh, we compete in general. So with the boxing team, we compete uh, Ontario. And uh, with the Muay Thai team and the kickboxing team, we're competing national and, and international. So there's the level a little bit different for us already. And uh, yeah, we have strong juniors. We have uh, started, I hope, going back to the game again and, and start fighting. And then we have the kids and uh, we're doing Jiu Jitsu tournament. Yes, that's what we're doing. The coach is everything. Like, we have, we have a limited time to work with people, but we need to cover in this limited time way more than mom and dad, the teachers, the boyfriend, girlfriend. We cover all, we are all in this. For, for students, it's easier to, to understand the coach than the coach to understand the students sometimes. And this is what I give to my guys, and I say this all the time. You need to use me to use me in this time you're here and to build the fighter, to use me, use my other coaches, use us, but be selfish, but not an idiot. And that's why I say to them, there is no, 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 I cannot do it. It's not happen. I don't want it. It's not happen. I wake up at four and be here at five. I have a wife, I can do other stuff. On the weekends, I don't need to be here, but we do it. And that's the motivation for everybody. I show it, they can do it.
Yes, of course. We give you something. We yell you, we push you, we did something to you. The longer you do it, the more tired you get. It's totally normal, that's okay. When you do this, and I was like, you're going to pull it and then you do this. But in this 10 seconds, when I do this and I move out, I need to be focused. Where is it? What did you learn from this sport? You got the respect to whatever is in front of you. Like even when I stepped in the ring and it's not, I had no heat. I hate it when people say heat. So I don't have heat. But I had a respect to the other person. Of course, I will punch and kick you first. And then I respect you. But it's over, it's over. Whoever won, won. There is no after.